Hello, I am OP Silver, and I am going to review Ruby Volume 9 of Chapter 9. Before we start this video, I kind of want to make these videos actual reviews, because looking back at the other reviews, they seem to be more like recaps than anything else. I will be explaining the episodes in some degree, while also giving my opinions and what I think about the episode. Without further ado, let's actually start this review. I like where it begins in this episode. It gives us a new design for Summer, and we even get new voice lines for her, which only took about, what, 10 years? And Ruby's design while being reincarnated looks a bit off, but we'll get to that in a bit. I also like John reflecting on the reincarnations of the paper pleasers because he always wanted to protect everyone, but it only got in the way of their reincarnation or ascension, or whatever it's called. I'm calling it reincarnation just so I can stop confusing myself. On the other hand though, the genial gems are a bit goofy. Like, you mean to tell me the paper pleasers reincarnated by offing themselves just to create an ice crystal? What the fuck? Then the tree puts everyone where the tree is. Because plot. And here is where I talk about Ruby's, I don't know, tree design? I'm not the Lorax. Jokes aside though, looking at this screenshot here makes it look like Ruby has different lighting compared to Yang somehow. This could be the texturing, but it looks a bit weird to me. I, I can't put my finger on it. Also, how long did it take for the herbalist to reincarnate? This took like, what, six episodes? Actually, no, five? I forgot what episode he was from. Seriously, I find it kinda goofy that he just sits there with a thumb up his ass trying to figure out why he was going to reincarnate us. I'll take your order, please. Yes, uh... Let me get, a. Uh... What did you say, sir? Um, let me get a, uh... And it also turns out the blacksmith is the tree. That's a nice twist, I guess. Next scene, we have the curious cat using Neo's body to try escape to Remnant. However, according to the curious cat, Neo doesn't have connections to Remnant. I mean, I don't know, curious cat. I think it's the tree knowing that it's you. And as it turns out, the Curious Cat also tried doing this with Alex after Lewis left, but I guess they also failed at that? So my guess now is that Lewis was the author that made the book. I also saw that the Curious Cat growing like these blue arms is pretty cool, which really just proves that he's just there for Neil's body, not just her semblance. Then it cuts to Ruby where we see souls get reincarnated then a bunch of stuff that Ruby would reincarnate as, at least that's what it represents. This continues on later. The fight scene with the Curious Cat was also nice because of the Ruby illusions to give a little intimidation. John even ends up getting manipulated because of the illusions being Penny and Pura. After that though, he ends up getting jumped off the tree because of Weiss's attack that got deflected to him. And no, I don't think he's gonna die because, well, the scene just kind of played out just like the rest of the scenes. It just cuts back to Ruby like nothing happened, which we will get into right now. So as I mentioned before, Ruby is surrounded by these items that reincarnate as other people that she's going to reincarnate as. So she chooses her mother's axe. So um... Is she gonna reincarnate as her mom? Or is she gonna look a little bit similar to Summer, but not really? Me personally, I like to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments for this episode. As for the score, I will give this a 6 out of 10. It had a few odd scenes, which is what really holds back the score, but there were some good scenes here and there which I did enjoy. I'm OP Silver, and signing off.